all right y'all i think it officially has hit me so i we arrived at the recovery house um today and so far everything's been pretty good as soon as we got here they greeted us they took our temperature they sat us down and let me tell you guys how the motherfucking food was so bomb we thought we had labs in two days it turns out Amy came to us and told us you gotta be up at 7 30 tomorrow in the morning because you guys have labs you're going to the faja store and you're most likely going to meet with dr velasco tomorrow so i got a little bit of anxiety like i don't know i feel like this is happening but it's not happening but it's fucking happening like but i'm gonna bring you guys along with me tomorrow and i'm gonna take you on basically what i will be doing i don't know what to expect i don't know how long i'm gonna be out for all i know is that i have to be up at 7 30 in the morning and i can't drink or eat anything um tomorrow morning i can't eat anything t after 10 o'clock tonight and i can't drink anything after midnight i don't know i'm like excited but i'm like nervous and i don't know y'all i really didn't think this was gonna happen so fast I'm gonna try to get some sleep well after I eat I'm gonna try to we're gonna try to rest we're gonna try to watch some TV and then try to hopefully fall asleep because we have a very long day ahead of us tomorrow so yeah I wanna catch you guys tomorrow let me see what time is it we woke up at 6 30 it is now 7 21 and we are getting ready to be picked up by our drivers we are going to get our labs done Y'all, I'm not even lie, I'm so tired. I'm hungry, I gotta pee, and I gotta take a shit. But, because we had to save a little bit of our pee, we literally had to like pee and like suck it back in. Um, but yeah guys, when I get to the um, clinic, I'm gonna, I'm gonna catch up with you guys in the bed. So, I got here and um, I can't even talk. Like, I feel like everything is going by so fast. Um, my surgery was supposed to be on Wednesday, but they said if my labs and everything turn out good, that my surgery is gonna push to, t my surgery will be pushed to tomorrow. So, I'm more anxious than nervous. I'm excited. I met with um, Miriam, she took our Farha measurements. And then, oh, I'm trying to think, hold on. Okay, then I met with the anesthesiologist. Um, and he spoke to me, he told me everything um, about the procedure and stuff. And now I'm just waiting to take my labs. That's the anesthesiologist. Now I'm, taking to, now I'm waiting to take my labs and then my COVID test and then speak with Dr. Velasco. So, I'm definitely gonna keep you guys updated. Keep me in your prayers, even though by the time you watch this, I'm probably already gonna be on the flat side, but. Hi, Lord. I got this. We got this. We got this. All right? I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. All right, so I am back at the, well, we're back at the recovery house. My surgery sister's back there. She don't wanna be seen, but. Um, I'm back at the recovery house. I think the clip before I told you guys I was waiting to do my labs, but I did my labs. I'm waiting for the results. Velasco basically looked at me and was like, girl, you have no fat. Like, legit. So, he's gonna try to do what he can do um, with it. It's kind of probably mostly gonna be like a skinny BBL. I'm gonna get chin lipo, even though he also looked at this and was like, girl what the fuck but chin lipo i was gonna do my arms but i decided not to because i don't think he's gonna be able to remove anything that's what he said and the um the amount of fat in my arms is gonna be very very little to put like in my thighs and my butt so we'll see i'm not even nervous anymore i'm just excited i just i just want to get this shit over with already i I just want to see what I look like. I got you in a little bit. The last clip I left you guys, I had just came back from Dr. Velasco's office from doing our consultation. 
So we came back home. I mean, we came back to the recovery house. We stood here for about two hours, and then we had to go to Picasso Clinic, which is where Dr. Velasco does his surgeries. We got there. We filled out some pre-surgical forms. They took us to a room. They asked us a series of health questions and took our weight, took our height, and took our blood pressure. So, my surgery is tomorrow at six o'clock in the morning. So, um, right now, I'm just getting ready to take a shower with this soap, which is, um, I can't say it. It says Chlorhendixona. Basically, it's like a, I want to say it's like the antibacterial soap that they use or whatever. I will definitely continue to keep you guys updated. I love you, and um, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye. Alright, you guys, it's real. It's the morning of surgery day. I'm waiting to get picked up by my driver, but I'm so tired. I did not get not one ounce of sleep last night. This music kept me up, and the fireworks that they play every 20 minutes are the worst. Um, but whew, I'm trying to do my usa and breathe. And I'll see you guys on the flat side. Six and a half hours later. All right, you guys. Oh, I'm looking hella, hella swollen right now. But as you guys can tell, I made it to the motherfucking flat side, y'all. I'm sorry. I did not have any time to tell you guys, like, I didn't have any time to tell you guys, like, hey, I'm on my way to the clinic because I had to wake up at 4.30 and I didn't get any sleep at all they were playing fireworks all night and music so loud that i probably got like an hour of sleep my freaking surgery sister probably got like half an hour of sleep it was horrible the nipple i have so much bruising already um so much bruising already hold on so much but I feel good. I'm not in pain. Only when like I try to get up really fast or when I lay back in bed that I put pressure on my back. But I'm laying like this. I don't have any. I have a pillow here. I don't really have much pressure on my butt. And I have this keeping my legs up. I want to say thank you to my baby. He got me those flowers. And he wrote me this very very nice note i literally was crying like a baby like as soon as i seen them i was like <laughs> this is what it's looking like you guys and i have a lot a lot a lot of swelling i have a lot of swelling and i always used to ask myself like how do these dolls that get surgery know that they have swelling or know that they have fluid? You can literally feel the fluid. Like, if you move it around, like, you can feel the fluid. It's, it's insane. But, don't judge me. I'm looking crazy. I got motherfucking chin lipo. I don't know what fucking chin I had, but, <laughs> I got chin lipo. Want me to get up? But yeah, this is what I look like right now. Um, I have a I have a little bit of like just pain, or I don't know if it's pain. I think it's more like soreness, like right here, a lot of soreness. And then let me see if it went away. I think I have pain in the incisions. That's what it is. Incisions. Oh, and my belly button. Lord, I'm gonna get back to you guys in a little bit. Um, thank you, my love. I'm gonna get back to you guys in a little bit but because I just want to rest right now I might end up taking a nap um, I don't have my file hot on because I sent it to wash with Monica because it had like blood on it and stuff I, I didn't want to stay in like bloody clothes so I made it to the motherfucking flat side I mean I was flat before but now I got a flat side <laughs> 
<laughs> all right catch you guys in a little bit <laughs> Ooh. good morning this is post-op day one um i'm feeling very dizzy i just um took my faha off because i'm going for my first massage um i just had some breakfast i'll i'll input here what i had um very 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 dizzy very uh just weak i guess off of taking the faha off but i'm gonna try and see if they allow me to record the massage uh if not i'm gonna try to take some clips off of my phone and then i'll try to put them here um sleeping the first night wasn't it wasn't that bad um sleeping on my stomach i'm i'm used to sleeping on my stomach but i guess because of the uh surgery it's been hell sleeping on my stomach it hurts a lot i thought it was actually going to be easy because since i can't sleep on my back or i can sleep on my back but it's preferred not to so that i don't lose much of my butt and hips oh but it's 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 this is tough you guys i don't want anybody out there to think that you know this isn't this isn't tough you you're you're, you're definitely going through going through a lot but um i'm gonna try to get back to you guys when i'm at the massage place and uh, hopefully they allow me to record so i'll see you guys in a little bit So, you guys saw me earlier. Um, gonna go get my first massage, but, ooh, but I'm on my way to go to go see Dr. Velasco for my follow-up visit. So, I'll let you guys know. You want to be my video? Huh? You want to say hi? Que les decí hola? Hola, cómo están? <laughs> so that's Yober. He's my personal. He's our personal driver. He works for Amy. Um, but. I'm on my way to go see Dr. Velasco right now for my follow-up visit. Okay, all right, guys. Hello. Talk to him a bit. One eternity later. I know I haven't recorded in a while because I'm, your body. I just been going through fucking hell. But I'm gonna show you guys how I have to get up from the bed. Okay. Very long, Ay. Ay, 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 ay. Ay, 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 ay. And that is what we gotta go through, okay? Every single time we gotta get up from the bed. That is what we go through. <laughs> All right? I don't know where was the last thing I left off at because I've literally been going through it. I think the last thing I told you guys I was gonna go do was my control visit, but it was really nothing. I really went to go check. It was, it was a five minute checkup. He just went to go see if I have any seromas and I don't. Um, I'm literally freezing right now. I'm getting ready to go to another one of my massages, so I'm gonna try to record that, but it's been hell. Um, the, the feeling in my stomach has been feeling like hot lava, just bubbling. Um, it, it hurts, like the, the, the flu if you don't have your faha on, the fluid like just rushes down and but this is what I currently look like. Ugh. I don't like me. That's what I look like. <sighs> oh, I'm post op day three. And um we're just getting up, so I, I I'm gonna get up. I'm gonna eat. And uh, I'm gonna show them your body. This is my surgery sister's body, really quick. Get up. No, your face is not in it, so it's okay. 
Yo, she got the big ass dunk. And it's very painful. Very, very, very painful. Please. It hurts, right? Mm. Mm. <laughs> wow. Wow. Wow, your stomach looks fat though. It looks like my thigh. It looks flat. What Super looks, flat. What? Your stomach. Oh. It looks so flat. It looks so good. Look at her ass, y'all. Watch it right there. Oh my god. So here no, stay right there. Turn around. So the reason we have the reason we have pads is because we're leaking and we don't want our faha to get dirty and it also helps with compression. But y'all look at that ass. Oh I don't know, I feel like I notice a difference. I just know that there's like a little bit of like Oh I have bruises. I'm starting to get bruises on my chin. Let me let me tell you guys how it's it's horrible. Um the, this recovery process Oh it's it's painful man it's it's, it's a 10 right fucking now. Yo, a 10? I would say this shit is a 100. A 100 out of 10. The massages, honestly, they're not as bad as I thought they were going to be. But explain the food feeling. Oh, I did. I told them that it, it feels like hot lava bubbling in your stomach, like in between your skin and your eye. Uh, it's just it's just really bad. Like I, I don't think I don't think if you if you haven't gone through this, you're not going to be able to understand and I, I I don't know, but I'm tired. I'm off to wake up, so I'm gonna try to get with you guys in a little bit. I'm definitely gonna try to bring my camera and vlog as much as I can. I'll see you guys in a little bit. So I came to see a specialist. For the last two days, I've been feeling so bad. I've had a fever. I'm so congested and my throat hurts very bad. This entire experience has been so traumatic. And I know that I haven't been updating you guys day by day by day, but it's so hard when you're in so much pain. 